Since in the previous uh, video, we have seen the least recently used algorithm. That is how a page is replaced, what methodology is used by the demand painting to replace a frame or page within the main memory. What strategy it adopts? Uh, we have seen before method, then optimum page replacement, then uh, least recently used, that is uh, pages. What is least recently used? The one which is not used for a longer period of time. That is what we call it as the least recently used. Not the most recently used. Least recently means the one which has been used for before a longer time. So that's what we have to take. So that will be considered, since it is not uh, used again and again, we, uh, the operating system will decide that that can be replaced uh, for the incoming page. So, uh, uh, and that is what we have seen in the last video. An improvement in that is LRU approximation algorithm. That is LRU approximation algorithm, least recently used approximation algorithm. Now we'll see how it's been there. In order to do that, the hardware, uh, uh, the operating system using uses a hardware support. Just nothing but along with each page, a reference bit will be attached. So if that particular page is referenced, then that will be set to one. Initially, all the reference bits will be zero. Then whenever a page is loaded, into the main memory and it is referred. So uh, whenever there is a page fault, definitely that page will be brought in and that will be referred. So in that case, that particular reference bit will be set to one, okay? So when the next page has to be loaded, again, it will be a page fault takes place and in the frame which is, uh, uh, to which the reference bit is attached, uh, it will be zero. Once it is loaded, it will become one. So when with each page, associated bit initially zero. When the page is referenced, then it is set to one. Then when another page is again referenced, that page reference bit will be set to one. Uh, so which page will be replaced? The one with the reference zero. That means it is not at all used. That is the meaning of this. So, but uh, uh, it, the order may not be we don't know the order because after the second page, fifth page may be referenced. In that case, that page reference bit will be set one. The third bit may the third page may not be referenced for a longer time. In the case when a new page is getting uh, a demanding uh, frame, then if the third page uh, reference bit is zero and it is not at all referenced for a longer time, then the OIS will select that page to be an appropriate page for uh, replacing. Okay, so the new incoming page will be replaced in that third page and uh, it will be, uh, its reference bit will be set to one. So say stating that that is referenced newly. So uh, this is how uh, it used. Now for that, there are some four algorithms uh, uh, in the under which comes under the LRU approximation algorithm. There is this additional reference bit algorithm, second chance algorithm, enhanced second chance algorithm and counting basic page replacement. We'll see one by one in this. What is additional reference bit algorithm? Here, in an 8-bit byte, an 8-bit is used. Um, that will be called as a reference bit here. Instead of a single bit, here we use an 8-bit, which is nothing but a one byte. It is kept with the each page in a table in memory. What happens whenever that particular page is referenced, then the higher uh, higher order bit high will be set to one. So for example, if it is a first time reference, then all the first page will be here. If it is uh, eight bits or that, the first bit will be set to one. Okay, the higher order bit will be set to one. Then again, second time it reference, then this bit will be shifted and this also will be set to one. So it will be shifted right. Okay, so the OA shifts the reference bit for each page into higher order bit for its of its 8 bit byte, shifting the other bits right one bit, discarding the lower order bits. So this will be discarded. But one when one one time first time reference, this will be set. Then second time reference, this bit will be moved to the next one. That is this one, if it is one, uh, because of the reference, this will become one and this will be shifted here. So this becomes one. And since it is reference now, this bit becomes one. 
and so on. So each time a reference is made, the higher order bit uh, will become one, and it will be the that bit will be shifted one towards this. So in uh, after sometimes all the bits uh, eight I after the eight reference all the bits will become uh, one, which means it is uh, again and again it is reference wall at least for the eight times. So that will be considered as a more recent, uh, heavily used page, and it will not be considered for replacement. So which page will be considered? The one with the lowest value. Say for example, a page with a history of register value. This has been used more recently than one with the value this, because this is not at all. If you see this is, uh, if you see the higher orbit, this is used now. But here it is not at all used for some time. Even if here it is, it seems to be a heavy use. This is used recently than this. So this has a older value. If you consider between these two, then this will be this page. The page with this uh, reference bit will be considered for a replacement. The next one is the second chance algorithm. What is second chance? The OS will give uh, first time reference. Okay. Second time again it is referenced, it will give a chance for that to be referenced. So what do you mean by that? See this picture. Here along with that one reference bit is arranged. Uh, initially all will be zero. So when the page is referenced, it will be made as one, one and so on. Now after some times, uh, say for example, uh, when this page is considered to be the victim, but what happens, this one, uh, it, will, it will not select this page. Instead, it will give a chance for that because it is already referenced. When it is again referenced, it will give a chance and then it will make it zero. And then it will move to the next one and so on. Now, which page it will consider for replacing? The one with the zero only it will consider. So in this way, first time it may be zero. Then it will be referred, it becomes, when it is referred, when your page is referred for first time, the one which has a zero will be considered as a replacement and it will replace it with one. Then again, so in this way, all the zero pages will be considered and again, once all will be zero, the again, that page will be made uh, one with one, uh, the one which will be not be considered, will be, but uh, the OS will make this as a zero and it will move to the next one. And uh, here also it is one, so it is also, made at a zero and the pointer move to the next one. So the, now it is the, uh, the page reference bit is a zero. So now this page only will be considered for our replacement, not this one. In this way, if a page is set and it is referred again, then it will just change the reference bit, but this page will not be considered for replacement till it finds another uh, page with the zero, reference bit zero. That only will be considered. It simply changes this string, this one to zero and then zero until it finds the page with reference with zero. So in this way, it gives a second chance for this page to reside in the main memory so that if it is referred again, uh, it will give a another chance. That is why it is called a second chance algorithm. So if the page to be replaced in clocker, that also here, the previous one, that is uh, the first one. What we have seen is there is no order, but here, there is an order that is clockwise, uh, it's like a queue. If you see this figure, it is a circular queue. So after this is exhausted only, it goes to the next one, next one and so on. So there is an order in this. And not only that, it keeps, the, uh, when it gives a second reference, uh, that is when the bit is may change from one to zero, then what happens that uh, it, it record the arrival time also as the current time of that particular thing. So in that case, it remembers at what time that particular page is referred. So, uh, so in that case, it remembers that uh, whether it is re uh, least recently used or very or very long period, long away, it, it was used, it was referenced. So in that case, the one which has been used for, uh, before a longer time, that page will be considered as the least recently used and then it will be removed from uh, the memory in which place the new incoming page can occupy that page. So uh, when all the pages, when all the bits are set to one, imagine all the bits are set to one. One time is referred, all are set to one. In the case, there is no other way, the first coming one. So suppose these are all the bits, all are set to one. Then again, which page will be set? The one with the older, 
value and that will be cut it now it will be like uh, before that is because it keeps the current time also at what time it uh, arrival time it records so which is the old arrival time that it will take and it will play in this case it is it is nothing but fifo that is first in first out the one which has entered the pay which has entered the first that will be removed first and the next after that which enters that will be removed next and so on now it degenerates to a fifo algorithm instead of a second chance algorithm now we will see another one it is called enhanced second chance algorithm why it is called enhanced it uses one more bit called modified bit so along with the reference bit it uses another bit called modified bit what do you mean by modified bit reference bit is when the page uh, is referenced when the particular page is referenced uh, then we call it uh, for that we keep a reference bit whether it is referenced by uh, by the memory by the operating system or not then we along with that we use a modified bit that is after it is referenced is there any content in that particular page is modified if it is modified then that bit will be set to one so in this case it has it now we have to use a pair one is reference bit and another one is modified bit so it this algorithm consider a pair of bits so if you say there are four combinations one is 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 if it is 0 0 then it means neither it is recently accessed okay neither it is recently used if it is 0 it is uh, is recent it is not used so far so neither recently used nor modified no modifications in that it means that is the best page to be replaced because it is not at all modified so no need to uh, swap out and write into the disk instead you can just swap in the new incoming page just overwriting will be enough so that will be more so that one io is restricted one io is reduced when you are swapping out and writing into the disk that is also an io write so that can be eliminated if this type of page is selected for this is the best page to replace so only one time swap in there is no swap out here Zero and one. The first bit is reference bit, and the second one is the modified bit. Zero is not recently used, but once it has come into the memory, it has been modified. So definitely, if this page is going to be selected for replacement, then it has to be swap out. That means it has to be written into the secondary storage. So that is another one. So not quite as good like this, but this can be a replacement. After this, you have you can select this. Then one and zero, recently used, but no modifications. So it probably, uh, if you say recently used, again the page may be uh, used again. A reference may be there. So in that case, if you keep it in the main memory, then only it will be safe. Or else, if you remove it, if you select it, then you will be removing it. Which means it will maybe again uh referred and a page fault will take place which is nothing but again reading and writing so that is also a headache so this page uh is not a better choice to remove the one comma one this type of page should not be removed because it is least recently used as well as it is modified so care must be taken and it it should not be selected for this particular type of page should not be selected for replacement and counting algorithms what is counting algorithm you have to keep a counter of the number of references that have been made to the page so for example if a page is referred for one time then one the reference book become one number of references so we are going to keep a counter five times that particular page is referenced the count becomes five like that so in the under that there are two types of algorithm lfu algorithm that is least frequently used and most frequently used both we can use one is less frequently used it replaces the page with small count if it is a small count which means what happens it is a, a very less number of time that particular page is used so uh, that page can be removed but the problem here is uh, when you use the least frequently sometimes when you are when the user process starts executing maybe the first three or first four pages where the declarations or some for loops maybe the something maybe the those will be again and again they will be referenced and heavy the count will be more because when the page is referred again and again what we have seen is we are going to keep a counter 
So the count may be for example, one, one or two pages. The first two pages may be, imagine it has 10 count. But after the other pages may be less count. Okay, so uh, what happens? The one with the more count may not be used again because all the initial execution is over. But the next six pages, is because of them, they are having a lower count, they will be selected as a victim for uh, removal of the page, which is not a better one because uh, the heavy pages, because of the execution of the first two one or two pages, heavy usage, they may have a more count, but they may not be used again but still they have more count. So what this algorithm will do, the one with the lower count only it will remove. Whereas more higher count will not be removed. Whereas the higher count is the one which has to be removed in this case because they are not at all going to be used further. So that problem is there that has to be carefully tackled. So when a problem arises, when a page is used heavily during the initial phase of a process, but then it's never used again. Since it was used heavily, it has a large count and it remains in memory even though it is no longer needed. Solution is to shift the counts right. Or how we have done in the previous one, you have to shift the counts right by one bit at regular time so that you can make them to be aging. So if you give aging, forming an exponential decaying average usage count. Now what happens when, when the bit is moved right, which means the count decreases. So when you keep on decreasing, say for, uh, decreasing the count, then the age of that particular this that also will be the average use count also becomes less. So in that case, you can select that to be replaced. Then another one most recently used based on the argument that the page with the smallest count was probably just brought in. So the one which has the smallest count. You can consider it has been executing now. Just now it has been, so it may be used again and again. So that should not be removed. So these are all some of the counting algorithms.